Welcome back. Dean Diplock from Breffy House Resort in Castle Bar, County Mayo, is back with us. Yes, if you're looking to up your sandwich game this Friday lunchtime, we'll get the pen and paper ready and start taking notes. This is a fancy oh, one, Dean, isn't it? Oh, fancy, fancy, yes, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, again, you know, started uh, exploring more of Mayo yes. and came across, or well, there's a supplier of ours, the Rockfield Farm, that produce a fantastic uh, sheep's milk uh, cheese, semi soft cheese. And they also, or semi-sweet one, and they also do a lovely yogurt. And I mean, sheep's milk yogurt is so creamy, yeah. but this is artisan. They, they actually fill the containers by hand. They seal them by hand. It's real artisan food. And so we're going to showcase it today. Okay. Right. Um, the tramezzini is the shape of, of the sandwich, as I explained. But the ingredients that go into it um, are not too complicated and easy to do at home. I'm using a focaccia bread, which I've toasted. We're using chicken breast, which we're going to spice and cook put a little bit of the Rockfield cheese on top of it to melt on it, and then we're going to make a tzatziki, which is that cucumber relish, uh, with, uh, which I have over here. Grate it up with a little bit of salt. Now, you can leave it to drain, or you can just simply put it in a cloth and squeeze the excess juice out, because you don't want it to be too wet. You want it to be quite dry but crunchy yeah. at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, it's essential you do that, because it's it's your sauce ain't going to work. Is Absolutely. It? It'll, it, well, it, initially, but if you leave it for too long, it's going to yeah, get really yeah. soggy. Okay. <clears throat> so a little bit of salt and the cucumber, to which I'm going to add some mint. These are the classic flavors. Dill, tiny little bit of lemon juice. Lovely. The salt I've already put in. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic. <clears throat> and then our lovely sheep's milk yogurt. Yes. You see, the, these are the kind of ingredients that elevate the sandwich from the home oh. toasty to something fancier, aren't they? Absolutely. I'm busy designing a new uh, lunch menu that people have been asking for, so this is what we're going to be putting on the menu. Lovely. Next part we're going to do is then our uh, chicken. Now, the chicken, I have split down the middle. Here you can see. And all I have done is put it between two layers of plastic. Now, you can use clingful. That's perfectly fine as well. Yeah. Um, all you want to do is flatten. I'm not even going to bother with that, trying to get those on. <laughs> Good Hands man. Sweaty. I'm not out of my own and just knock it down. You know, the, the fatter side of the, of the chicken yes. breast, basically. Yeah. You don't want to smash it. You just want to flatten it a little bit so it's nice and even. And the reason you're doing that, Chef, is though, so, so it cooks, cooks through at the yeah, same time. Yeah, it cooks time. evenly. Yeah. It's as simple as that, as, okay. you, as you say. Um, next is our spices. So I have a mixture in here of, sorry, this one, um, veg stock or chicken stock bouillon, yeah. just with a little bit of oil, softened it down. Okay. That's going to give you your flavor. I've got my pepper, <clears throat> garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, chili powder, <laughs> Cumin Holy moly. and coriander. You won't be able for this, Simon. Oh, I will. Just calling it now. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a <laughs> go. Now we mix it into a little paste there. I'm going to add a little bit of You're very heavy-handed with the uh, spices as well. Well, this, this is enough for um, two okay. large <clears throat> sandwiches. So okay. two breasts, about 180 to 200 grams, 190 on, on, in the middle. And um, it's plenty for two, for, for, for two large sandwiches, as you can yes. clearly see. We yes. certainly have, yes. yes. Right, so <clears throat> we now brush brush that onto our breasts, like so, either side, and we pop them into a pan. Now, obviously, we've made one in advance. Yes. Let me just turn this on quickly while we're talking. So that's not a marinade. It's just to go straight onto the chicken. It's exactly that. It's yeah. not a marinade. What it is is it's um, it's we're going to cook it on a medium heat so that it doesn't burn the spices. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to be doing that. It's uh, it's it goes black like Cajun style. Yeah, and that's yeah. not what we so want to achieve. So if you put that straight onto a hot pan, you would burn. burn the flavors burn. off. Yeah. Okay. The garlic and the onion powder will burn. It'll yeah, go yeah. quite black. Now, if you want to Cajun it, absolutely <clears> go ahead. Yeah. Yes. But it's not necessary in this case. Okay. So all I've done now is you see, they cook so quickly these uh, chicken breasts because they're so nice and, and, and thin yeah, yeah. and th uh, flat that I can quite easily just put a little bit of cheese on. Oh, yes, indeed. On the top of that. So you can pop it in an oven if you have an oven safe pan or we'll just <clears> pop a lid on it to soften that cheese up a little bit on top just to melt it on the top Beautiful. a little bit. Okay. And then we can construct our sandwich. Now, what I've got is for the tramezzini is I'm using the focaccia bread. It's a, a sun-dried tomato focaccia bread and basil with it, it as well. It looks amazing with the sun-dried tomato. You can use just whatever you like. Nice. Rosemary and salt is probably the most popular yeah. one, or the most, the most well-known one. A little bit of cost romaine lettuce. I can't wait anymore. I'm going in. Are you going in already? Yeah, go, go for it. Go for it. I'm going in. A little bit of mixed greens to go on that. 
We want a little bit of salad dressing, so I'm going to boil that with a little bit of honey mustard dressing there. I then put <coughs> some nice sliced tomato. So you're building, like building, building. Building, 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 yes. It's, it's, a, it's a lunchtime meal, mm. basically. A oh. uh, little bit of red onion, some pepper. Oh. Don't forget the pepper, always season the tomato. And then a pinch of salt. Our tzatziki, I'm going to put on the top. On the other side. Right. I'm Which, by the way, is oh. sensational. The tzatziki is just beautiful. A little bit of crunch, a little bit of smoothness. I mean, it's called velvet cloud for a reason. It's mm. so velvety and light in your mouth. It's fantastic. Mm. OK, now that is ready. As you can wow. see, it's just, just melted. You don't want to cook it totally to death, as they say two thin slices of our chicken breast, which would equate to one whole chicken breast. So we're talking a meal here. On do, you, do, you make the, do you make the focaccia bread, just as a matter of interest? We, we, we can make your focaccia bread from yeah. scratch. Uh, we, we are lucky enough to be able to buy them in ready-made. Great, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, great. This one came from one of our local supermarkets, so oh, it is readily available to anybody who wants to make. I'm just going to skewer these, otherwise it tends to fall apart. Yeah, yeah. As it they all say, together, uh, Hold it all together. <laughs> and get a decent knife and cut it into the traditional tramezzini shape. Dean, I know that's a sandwich, but in, in typical, uh, you know, hotel form... Yes. ..and when you've got a good chef at the helm, this is a proper lunch. It's this, not, no, you know, that's the thing. It's a huge proper meal, proper lunch, it's a, isn't it's, it? There's a call on us at the moment to please bring out a lunch menu uh, after the summer. So we're busy designing sandwiches that are and, and, and dishes that are going to be above the norm. It's mm. not just going to be the standard toasted sandwich. It's going mm. to be a meal in a focaccia bun or some really nice sourdough bread. And the other toasted. great thing is the likes of Briefy House and all wow. of the hotels around the country are brilliant at supporting all of those local <coughs> producers. Of course, yeah. Now more than ever. Yeah. Now more than ever, it's about using local ingredients finding out what's available locally and supporting them. For every one euro that we uh, support our um, local suppliers with, it's worth eight to the community. That's fantastic. So and it's a great reminder, actually. Yeah. Absolutely. But listen, when you have producers the likes of Velvet Cloud on your doorstep, Dean, you'd be a fool not to use Why them. Why wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Super there produce. Two oh. little gifts for you from, from Velvet Cloud oh, on the Rockfield uh, Farm with some yoghurt and cheese for you guys to go and try that at home Amazing. yourselves. Amazing. Listen, as well, usual, Well, that's a delicious Dean. dish. Fantastic. Glad to join you. Dean, thank you. Gorgeous. Fantastic. Thank you, Chef. Right, full recipe details are up on our website, or you can just call in to Dean and Briefy House Resort to try his wares for yourself.